the pathan court attack is a challenge for india and 2016 the new year is likely to see more such attempts and the context for this is that whenever there has been any improvement as far as the bilateral india pakistan relationship is concerned there are forces there are constituencies across the border that have tried to disrupt or cause certain problems as far as the improvement in the bilateral relationship is concerned and these forces and i would say groups are fairly well known at this stage i think the operation is still going on and the immediate priority is the tactical aspect and as of now i think there is cause for some satisfaction that what could have been a bigger attack particularly by way of damage to assets whether it is the military aircraft in the pathan court air base or loss of more lives that has been averted and i think the entire indian security establishment can take some satisfaction that they were able to deal with this in a fairly swift and effective manner we do not have all the details of the case because as of now there are reports to suggest that the way in which a superintendent of police his car was abducted and some other local reports that are coming in need to be investigated but on balance i think the fact that the perpetrators the attackers the terrorists one of them has been neutralized and i think it would be possible for the indian investigating agencies mm -hmm. to establish the identity mm -hmm. or some kind of connection mm -hmm. with the groups that have initiated this attack mm -hmm. and i think the larger political sort of challenges in the light of the fact that prime minister modi mm -hmm. has made a surprise visit to lahore mm -hmm. just a few days ago mm -hmm. on christmas day mm -hmm. and there has been a certain response from pakistan by prime minister nawaz sharif mm -hmm. we have to see how the pathan court incident is going to impact mm -hmm. on the politico diplomatic relationship mm -hmm. as far as india and pakistan are concerned well i would say that because of the fact that prime minister modi and prime minister sharif have had this personal meeting mm -hmm. that hopefully mm -hmm. the institutional response on both sides mm -hmm. would be accordingly qualified or modified because in the past if you remember mm -hmm. whenever such an incident took place mm -hmm. there would be a certain amount of finger pointing mm -hmm. and there would be references to the pakistani establishment mm -hmm. and the role i think what is important is the degree to which the pakistani state mm -hmm. is supporting such activities mm -hmm. now this operation is still going on so i do not want to make any hasty mm -hmm. statement mm -hmm. investigations will give our security agency is a better understanding mm -hmm. but it would also be i think useful for us to see the response from the pakistani side mm -hmm. now hypothetically if there are mm -hmm. shall we say clear evidence mm -hmm. to connect the perpetrator mm -hmm. that's the terrorist who's been killed mm -hmm. with any group mm -hmm. on the other side of the border now early reports are trying to suggest mm -hmm. that the perpetrator has some identification that connects him to bahawalpur in pakistan mm -hmm. i repeat the point that this is speculation at this stage these are mm -hmm. reports that have been coming out in the last half an hour mm -hmm. i think the way in which the pakistani state mm -hmm. would respond to this particular mm -hmm. evidence mm -hmm. would give us an idea about mm -hmm. the resilience of the india pakistan bilateral relationship mm -hmm. after the lahore visit mm -hmm. of prime minister modi